So PNH, um, it is a disease that carries a great deal of morbidity and mortality. Um, and I think with the advent of these complement inhibitors, that's really changed kind of the treatment landscape of PNH overall. Um, but then in around 20% of patients who have PNH who are receiving the C5 inhibitors already, they continue to have hemolysis as we saw in our patient as well. Um, and this new medication, the C3 inhibitor, which can target both intravascular and extravascular hemolysis. Um, a lot of people are seeing like the resolution of the hemolysis, so I think it will play a better role um, in the future. So this drug was approved in in the past couple of years or so, um, and there was a clinical trial that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2021 that kind of went through. Um, that actually compared eculizumab to pexidacolpan and it showed that pexidacolpan was overall a better drug in reducing um, hemolysis in patients with PNH.